Our officials in this game, Karen Priato, Brandon Enterline, and Leah Laney. As we are ready to jump it up at Florida State with the opening tip is going to go immediately to the rim. And a foul is called, I believe. We have a clock issue, maybe? Yeah, I think just clock issue, start the game. So here's your starters Latson, Turnage, Gordon, Viegas, and Timpson for Florida State. As Williams not in the starting lineup for the first time this season. And here's the first five of the Red Raiders Shavers, Fritz, Sonogo, Merritt. And Bailey Maupin, a junior out of Groover, Texas. Texas Tech comes in unbeaten at 6-0. Florida State's only loss on the season was a game at Illinois. And here's Maupin battling for the ball with Gordon. But Florida State went into Illinois earlier in the season. Hostile environment. Learned a lot from that game. See if they can take advantage of it here in this contest against a very stingy Texas Tech defense. Head coach Brooke Wyckoff says that game at Illinois really exposed my kids' understanding of our defense and what we do and why we're doing it. And time to revisit that early in the season. How hard you have to play if you want all that pressure. There's Merritt to the right side, dumps it off. Sonogo traveled with the basketball. Sonogo couldn't make a clean catch. Pulled the pivot foot. Now, this is Tech's dilemma. How much are they going to press today? Because they don't want to speed this game up. Brooke Wyckoff, head coach for the Florida State Seminoles. Third year as head coach, plus an interim season during the COVID year. Gets to play at her alma mater. A coach at the alma mater she played at. It's Nia Latson with a basket. 5'8", junior out of Miami, Florida. Well, you said she might be the best player in America, not named Juju Watkins. There's a kick out. Fritz on the drive to Shavers for three. And it's going to be Seminoles basketball. See Texas Tech head coach Krista Gerlich. And year number five, her 19th career season as head coach. Spent some time at UT Arlington and West Texas A&M. All-time winning as coach at UT and was here at the Paradise Jam with UTA. Had a coach against her daughter when she was coached at UTA. This is that tech defense, the block on turnage. Also, Krista Gerlach coaching at her alma mater. Krista Gerlach, national champ as a Lady Raider in 1993. There's a foul on the shot. Timpson is going to go to the line. The foul goes on Fritz. And so up to the free throw line, Michaela Timpson. First team all ACC on defensive team. Goes by KK, just an excellent passer. Rebounder, shot blocker, is actually passing coaches records. Coach Wyckoff set as a seminal. It's out of bounds, gonna be Texas Tech basketball. Florida State coming off a 23 win season. The NCAA tournament. There's the Florida State defense proving they can D it up as Maupin loses her footing and a 10 second violation created by the Seminoles D. 
Well, Bro Brooke Wycliffe told us they used to play a little more conservative defense, fast-paced offense. So they changed their defense to match the mentality of their offense. You're going to see more pressure from the Seminoles up-tempo this game at both ends of the court. Attack and disrupt is what Coach Wyckoff's looking for. Timpson underneath and gets fouled. I believe this will go on Sonogo, and it does. Her first personal. That's looking at the bench for the call for the OB play. Snogo's going to check out into the game. Comes Maya Pete, 6'6 six, six center, played at the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff for four years. Second team all conference player. And it's kind of still getting healthy, battled injuries in the summertime. Guarding Timpson right now. Timpson goes around her, rebound by Pete. Here comes Maupin now in transition. Timpson the rebound. Gonna lead the break, Timpson. Florida State's the only school in the nation to have two players averaging 20 points or more. Timpson and Latson. The top producers of points. Well, when you score 100 a game, <laughs> you got to spread around. That's only 40% of what they're scoring. Mopping to Pete, back to Mopping. Now going baseline nice is jump. Shavers. Pete the jumper, too strong. And here comes Latson. Latson around the defender. Layup doesn't fall. Good rebound by Pete. Texas Tech trying to get on the scoreboard here. 6.25 to play. Pete pivots back right into the defense to Latson. And now Timpson finally able to tip it ahead to Latson. And Pete went straight up. Latson tried to draw a foul. Techs have to be careful and get caught up in this frenzy. This is back and forth. Yeah. That's exactly what the And now a timeout taken want. by Florida State. And with 5.59 to play, we'll step aside. 3-0 early on. Florida State 1 for 11. Texas Tech 0 for 4 with four turnovers. Back with more first quarter action when we return. 3-0 as we are four minutes into this contest and Florida State just one of 11 shooting but four offensive rebounds and they've created four turnovers on the Lady Raiders. They force almost 22 turnovers a game Florida State does. If you look at this Tech team they only average about 10. They've got them playing faster than they want to. Don't get caught up in the feeding frenzy if you're Texas Tech. you got to control the tempo of this game. But 11 shots on goal by Florida State in just three minutes of action. And there was a visit at the scorer's table with some assistant coaches and clipboards. They might have been confirming fouls. I don't see any changes yet on the stat monitor. We'll let you know if something is adjusted. Here's the lob from Latson inside Timpson. Using that lower body power to get enough space underneath. Well, Timpson's got that alpha dog mentality. There's Gordon losing the handle. Excuse me, Shavers losing the handle. Peck trying to keep you pinned on the side of the court. The jumper for Timpson showing the range. Well, that's a nice play. They're going to keep you pinned over there, take your post player, short roll them back to the free throw line area, and the defender cannot recover. Timpson can get that shot all day. 
Coach says Timpson has pro aspirations. There gets the run out and the layup and the timeout taken by Coach Gerlich as it's 9-0 here with 4.59 to play. A fast start for the nation's highest scoring offense in the country. As we take a look at the uh, Texas Tech Lady Raiders resume. Fifth in the country in blocks per game. You have Moffin and Shavers. Big 12 honorable mention a season ago. Pick 10th in the always tough Big 12. And the original Paradise Jam champions coach back in 2000. Numero uno. Now we're at number 25. And here's a look at Florida State leading the country in scoring. Latson Timpson, the top two producers, last year's NCAA tournament. Hey, they're no strangers to the Paradise Jam trophy photo op. And they both are vying. They want to be the 25th anniversary champion. A vision from Nels Hawkinson, 25 years ago to start a tournament in this beautiful Virgin Islands U.S. territory. And it has grown into one of the best events in the nation. That 2016-2017 Texas uh, Florida State team, an Elite Eight team. So a good season to start back down at the Virgin Islands as Timpson picks up an early foul. Her first, team's second. Logan Johnson in the game, receives the inbound from Fritz. Plenty of transfers on this Tech roster trying to put it all together. Bailey Maupin, she's been with the Lady Raiders for three seasons now. Big 12 All-Freshman team two years ago. All-Big 12 honorable mention last year. Maupin with the back cut to get that first basket for Tech. All that pressure on the wings. Get the ball in the high post. Back cuts to the basket. And oh. there's a carry. As Jada Wynn carried the basketball, gives it back to Florida State. What Florida State can do because of Timpson up top, Williams, they can really pressure the post players. If you try to invert, get your post players up high, they can pressure the passes, make it very difficult to run your offense. Sydney Bulls, Mariana Valenzuela into the game for Florida State. Here's the drive blocking call for Gordon. Count it and one. I'm not sure that Gordon got outside or oh, the defender got outside that restricted arc area. We'll get a look at it right here. Uh, she's clearly inside. Secondary defender. Sliding a bit too on that call. To the free throw line. Goes Omaria Gordon, 5'4", senior from Sarasota, Florida. The challenge for Tech is the Seminoles going to lift that offense up off the baseline. Your secondary defenders cannot get there in time. So your one-on-one -on -one matchups are so important. You can't get beat off the bounce. Your health defense cannot arrive in time. There's a defense from Gordon. Look at this. Timken's going out front again. And an extra step taken as Timpson collected the basketball, 3.15 to play here in quarter number one. Florida State a 10-point lead. Avery Treadwell into the game for Timpson. Tania Latson back into the game as Gordon catches a breather. Tex trying to invert, get the back cuts. Snuggle goes inside to Shavers, blocked from behind by Bowles. 
And now Bowles has it tipped away from behind by Shavers. We've talked a lot about this high-powered offense of Florida State. Their defense has been impressive to start this game. Texas Tech, one of six. I don't know what's more impressive, that or the fact they've only attempted six right. shots. They just can't get into their offensive flow. Lats in the strong move. Florida State by a dozen with two and a half to play. Tech with eight turnovers against this Florida State pressure. Danae Fritz drives, gets tied up. How about the defensive plays Bowles has made the last two possessions? On ball defense, Florida State, they're talking about winning the closeouts. Own your, own your own matchup, you just can't get beat off the bounce, but their help side defense has been exceptional. Jalen Bristow, the Iowa State transfer, gets tied up and the possession arrow now favors Florida State. Nine turnovers for Tech. They've got to solve that problem and do it quickly. There's Latson. Inside, Bristow. Out to the right side, Valenzuela, no, the rebound to Shavers. And now Tech in transition. Just not looking real clean early on. Well, they're in the passing lanes, just doing so many things to disrupt what Tech's trying to run. Foul from behind, goes on Sonogo, and it will be number two on Sonogo. That one might, that one's on Bowles, or wouldn't it? They put it on Sonogo, and maybe this is where they were talking at the monitors, because Sonogo initially was called with a foul, and now the scoreboard is showing that's her first foul. Tiana Fritz to trigger it in. Was that Baylor last season? Iowa State to start her career. Sets up the offense. Oh, nice dump. Look how fast the rotations are on the weak side. And I'll go saying, put it up in the air for me. I'll go up and get it above those little guards. Shaver splits the defenders, gets the layup. Got to get Shavers going. Florida State will make you uncomfortable on your offensive end. Oh, the deep three by Bowles. Florida State by 10 here, a minute seven left in this first quarter. Let's see what Tech runs here. We've got a minute left. They've been trying to get some release pressure with their high post. He picked that drill up the side. There's nowhere to go. Moppin looking for a seam. And her pass deflected by Brianna Turnage. Florida State's keeping that ball pinned on one side of the court. Tech's going to really force the reversal and then try to get some dribble penetration on the recoveries. They just push it down that baseline. Mopping into the lane. Rebounded turnage. Boy, another fractured possession for Texas Tech. Dos Santos. Eyes a three, now oh, drives. Nice Great dump off the finish for Treadwell. Great catch by Treadwell. Thought that was going to go over her head. 
him up and somehow kept an over back <laughs> violation from she happening was there. Tiptoeing. Look back you on that diving board down at the pool. <laughs> Here goes Moppin into the lane, gets the bump. And we'll go to the free throw line with 1.9 on the clock. And now we'll have foul number two on Bowles. Well, good start for Florida State. They got to be happy about that. They came out with some pressure. A little sloppy those first three minutes. As you said, a lot of action for only three to zero. But they've settled down. Create some offense with their pressure defense. Tech has not responded very well to this pressure. Krista Gerlach's got to make some adjustments there during this break between the first and second quarter. And substitutions here for the final 1.9. And Gordon will drill. State dominating the first quarter. Start to finish. And a slow first four minutes, too. It was 3-0 at the 5.59 mark. When Coach Wyckoff called a timeout, reorganized everybody, and Seminole's been rolling. And Michaela Timpson got it going with her defense. Got a couple tap aways, a good run out. She's already got seven points before she. There's what you need, that dribble drive, Brad. All that pressure, you got to fight against it and kick it out to the weak side because they're going to be sinking in on the drives. Jada Wynn knocks in the three, the assist from Maupin for Wynn. That's her fifth three of the season. I'm sure Krista Gerlach told the team at that timeout, you got to drive it against the pressure and kick it out to the weak side to get some open shots and then attack the closeouts. Travel by Dos Santos. Ayani Dos Santos, sophomore from Brazil. Transfer from Gulf Coast State College and it's been a part of the Brazil Junior National Team, U19 World Cup. And national experience is so valuable because you're playing against, and especially in Europe, it's a little bit freer style of basketball. Win backdoor cut to Maupin, yep. the runner counted and won. Good adjustments by Krista Gerlach at that timeout. Back cut the wings if they're going to press you. Lift up off the baseline so there's no help defense, and dribble to the middle and pitch it out to the weak side. And Timpson for Florida State. Heads to the bench. That's her second personal foul here with 9.05 to play. And now it's a five-point game. Oh, nice move yeah. inside by Latson. Well, great switch out front by Tech. Shavers made the switch. Just Latson able to change direction. See how they try to keep you on the side, Brad? You got to fight right through that. Don't get stuck on the left side. And they want you to go there because then you're in no man's land. There's Kyla Freelon in the game. The junior tries the right hand finish. Rebound to Latson. Florida State running. This is their pace. Knocked away by Moppin and off the foot of Latson. Nice defensive swipe by Bailey Moppin, the junior out of Groover, Texas. Well, if Latson had to do it over again, she would have stopped at about six feet. With a little floater. Good defense. Kept backpedaling. It's so hard to get that charge call in the open court. See a player coming down that middle lane. Now let's see if we can get the ball reverse tech. Don't get stuck on the side. There's a backdoor cut again. Oh, nice feed. The lay in for Jasmine Shavers. Mopping the assist. Got the post up high. There's nobody back there on the baseline guarding the basket. Texas Tech winning quarter number two, eight to two, and there's a takeaway by the defense. Shavers to Freelon, out to win, once another three, in and out, no. Offensive rebound, and the putback is good for Jordan Merritt. Well, great response by Tech. They're on their heels in the first quarter. 
made the adjustments, better execution. And Merritt with the takeaway. You got her. Now Freeland wide open on the opposite block. Texas Tech running the floor. It's a one-point game. We'll step aside here in quarter number two. Texas Tech, five of seven. Shooting in quarter number two. There you see five points in the first quarter, nine turnovers. Second quarter, 12 points. And coach, we're two and a half minutes in. By my calculations, that's a really good second quarter. <laughs> 12 points in two and a half minutes. They stopped turning the ball over, but the adjustments on their offensive end for Tech and Coach Gerlich have paid dividends. Uh, there's Gordon getting to the rim. They've also turned Florida State over. Just one turnover for the Seminoles in the whole first quarter. Four so far here in the first three minutes. Tech has gotten more. Well, here's the thing, Brad. When you score points, you can set your defense. If you're running back in transition, you're going to have more issues. When you score it, they've been able to get and watch they try to pin it on the side. They're trying to do the same thing Florida State does. Maybe not as not pressure on the wing. There's the drive by Latson. There's the danger of trying to ice it and keep it on the side as Latson is so quick, she can beat you through the gaps. Takeaway by Valenzuela turns into a jump ball with Gordon. There's going to be unhappy coaches on this play. And Jada Wynn is unhappy herself. And it's going to be Florida State. Loose ball. Everybody wants Looks a piece like a of that. clean that, that, tackle. Yeah, everybody wants a piece of that melon. That's a valuable item. Possession arrow favors Florida State. Yeah, illegal screen. Treadwell ended up on the ground. And she's going to get called for her first. So she will check out. Turnage back in. 6 1 junior out of Atlanta, Georgia. Coach says with Turnage, just a great plus minus kid. High school won the 2021 Geico National title with Tanaya. <laughs> I like that. Moffin tries to get a backdoor cut on the right side, dribbles back to the left for another backdoor cut. It's closed off, so she says, I'm just going to shoot it. Oh, oh Gordon oh. can light it up, too. You know, and Krista Gerlich was really concerned about Gordon. Their shoot around yesterday, their practice. Kept talking about, we got to get number three under control. One of the top assisters, third best score, averages 17 a game. Got a really good look from three there. Latson's going downhill and draws the foul. That may go on Shavers. It does. And that's the first on Shavers to the free throw line. Goes Tania Latson. Latson. First career double double, 13 points. 10 assists against North Carolina Central. And then 25 points, five rebounds, five assists against Florida in the in-state rivalry victory. But well, she made all ACC as a freshman again as a sophomore. And here's the difference in this turnaround was if we always talk about this, your offense has to help your defense. If Tech can score, they can get their defense set and slow down the Seminoles. If they don't, they're backpedaling, and that team speed of Seminoles is a real factor. When Tamopin launches the three, no, and knocked, oh, saved from going out of bounds. Thought Turnage knocked it out of bounds. Latson comes flying in there. Now Latson goes off the screen. High off the glass and good. We called the snake move. Trying to ice her on the sideline. She just splits the defenders. 
That is a difficult shot, especially going to your left when you're a right-hander. Jumper for Shavers, too strong. Here comes Latson. Coach he, Wyckoff says Latson's just great on offense, and now we're challenging her on defense and with rebounding the basketball. Well, keep an eye on Latson on a missed shot, how fast she gets the ball down court before Tech's ready. On the missed shot, they can get in front of her. Or, excuse me, on the made field goal. Maupin loves those backdoor cuts. Oh, great feed to Sonogo. Maupin has realized that I'm getting denied. I got a basket cut. Good things will happen for Tech. Three goes in and out for Latson. That was Florida State's sixth three-point attempt. Just one of six. Both teams are. Hmm. Sonogo thought about letting it fly. Shavers will. And Freelon unable to tip it back to herself. Latson with the rebound. I thought Freelon was going to get a rebound without <laughs> jumping. <laughs> He's kept tipping it back. Never left the floor. Latson the kick back. Valenzuela. That's twice now Valenzuela has tried to pick and pop. On the drive, Jada Wynn. Creating some space. Back within four. You drive baseline on the Sentinels. You got to be really strong with the basketball. Don't leave your feet because you'll have nowhere to go. Look at her trying to keep Gordon on the side of the court. Gordon for three. Wow. Just played along with that screen. On the season, she's a 35% shooter. How about that boss pass from Maupin from half court, coach? Okay, Maupin struggled early, but they came out of that timeout halfway through the first quarter, and Maupin was a different player. Oh, here comes number three, Omaria Gordon, a 5'4 senior. Second in the ACC, assist to turnover ratio. Shot 38% last year at 13 points per game. And now five Lady Raiders coming into the game. It's a line change for Texas Tech. And for Florida State, Dos Santos re-enters, Viegas in, and Amaya Bonner on the floor. How long can Moffin sit on the bench? Because she's been able to solve the puzzle at the offensive end for Tech. And now a jump ball is called. Bristow and Bonner all tied up. Get a little chippy, that officials jumped in right away. Got things settled down. Bonner's second year with the Seminoles. Was at Cal the season prior. Fritz over to Adley Blacklock. Transfer from Oregon State. Here's Pete inside. And a foul's called inside. As Pete just. The Lady Raiders have a different offense when Pete comes in. It's going to be a low post power offense. And Valenzuela gets called for that swat on the putback. And so free throws for Pete. Just seven attempts on the season thus far. Three of seven before that miss. Texas Tech head coach Krista Gerlich says her team will play fast and press. They like their defense until their last game as Texas Tech played New Orleans and won 78 70, but for coach it was not. What she wanted, and now 
blocking call on Logan Johnson. Well, the tech bench thinks Gordon's throwing an elbow out, but Gordon has a the ball on a string. The important 117 here for Tech. They climb their way back in this. They can't let the margin grow before halftime. Florida State led by 12. And they're in front by seven right now. Gordon mm. splits the defense. Seminoles up nine. They're having problems with Gordon. Snaking through. The gaps in the two defenders. They're just some kids, coach, that are hard to stay in front of, aren't there? Oh, that one is really hard to stay in front of. This is Bristow. Rebound tipped out to Johnson. Hmm. Bristow over to Blacklock, launches the three, and a foul on the rebound. As Jalen Bristow thrown to the floor. Both teams have gone on their bench here in the last minute of the half. Dos Santos called for the foul, her first. The pace in this game is more to Texas Tech's liking now than it was to start the game. Fritz caught it but was out of bounds. And it gives Florida State another opportunity here with 25 seconds left. Already up nine. Chance to make it a double-digit lead at halftime. Sonogo into the game for Maya Pete. A grad transfer has played well. Just one point with three rebounds. Some good defense. And They've had problems with Gordon. She's got the ball in her hands. Guarded by Johnson. Now gets it back. Clock at three. Gordon, the runner, won't fall. And it's a nine-point lead for Florida State. As the Seminoles average 100 again. Third quarter begins. Florida State with the basketball. And a nine-point lead here. And a matchup between... Big 12 and ACC schools and going right to work. A team that averages 100 points per game. Nice play to open the half. They use Gordon to screen for Latson. They got an easy layup. Timpson with the tip pass creates the steal. Sat on the bench a lot with two fouls in that first half. It's and harder for Tech to enter the ball in that high post when Timpson's in the game for Florida State. She's active enough she can swim around and get her hand on that pass. Foul goes on Jordan Merritt. Latson getting the jumper to start the third quarter. Now the trip to the free throw line. Florida State has an ability to go on runs. Went on a 9-0 run in the first quarter. Texas Tech, though, responded a 7-0 run in the second quarter. And remember, Coach, they went on a 20 to nothing run in the second quarter against Florida. Well, that was one of the keys for Texas Tech. You got to limit those runs. Get some answers. Snowgo offensive rebound. Now Shavers fires the three. Ball kept in play by Merritt and rolls out of bounds and last touch by Fritz. As Gordon slow to get up. And Jada Wynn coming into the game for Fritz. Just one minute into quarter number three. Win a lift off the bench. Five points for her. Knocked in the only three for Texas Tech. Tech needs that three ball to go. The problem is if you miss, it's a long rebound, and it will start the fast break. Latson goes into Timpson, and Timpson walked with it. 
at Butter on the fingertips. Timpson couldn't hang on to that pass. Texas Tech. Their keys. Slow down Florida State. Take advantage of mismatches. And here's Maupin left open as Gordon hit the deck and Maupin makes the Seminoles pay. Maupin refuses to let Seminoles pressure speed her up. There's Gordon. Speaking of speed, now Maupin After the double team couldn't keep it from going out of bounds, Gordon helps her up. Good and job FSU by gets it back. Gordon getting chased it down, got a little tip from behind. Moppin couldn't keep control. It's Florida State receiving votes in the top 25 in the NCAA tournament a season ago after 23 wins. Four of those were ranked wins. ACC preseason number five for Texas Tech preseason number 10 in the Big 12. Two teams with high aspirations. Finish the top half of your conference. Your NCAA tournament bound. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, there's the friendly island roll for Shavers. A little coconut oil on that rim. Let this slide through. That's the lead down to seven for Florida State. Timpson, shots off the mark. Shaver's been quiet. Seven points, just one rebound. Win, ooh, the fadeaway. Mm. Little Dirk Nowinski from Shaver's. They're not allowing Florida State to pin them on one side of the court. Got to fight the pressure, bring it back over. Some good things will happen. Your passing lanes. Simple ball screen. Jump off to Timpson, her shot hits the bottom of the rim. A rotation quickly by Merritt, got over to stop that roll. Get it reversed. Don't get stuck. Shavers drives the lane. That may have been deflected by Timpson. I really had nowhere to go. That middle was all clogged up. Now Gordon just speeds to the rim. Gordon knows where they hung the hoop. And Maupin throws it into the beach zone, trying to get it to Sinogo who beat everybody back. And substitutions now for both teams. Dos Santos, Valenzuela, Viegas into the game for Florida State. And for Texas Tech, Logan Johnson comes in, Kyla Freelon. And Latson. She's good at attacking the rim. Well, Gordon goes out and, and Latson comes in. <laughs> she's picking up her defense, too. Those are two difficult guards to match up on, Latson and Gordon. Moppin picks up her dribble. And here's another takeaway by Florida State, Viegas. And Moppin mad at herself. Oh, gets called for the foul there. Her second. So Fritz back in. There's a three for Dos Santos. There's what's open. Corner three, Jordan Merritt. Timpson lost the rebound, and Johnson gets it back. And now we've got a jump ball as Johnson 
tried to split defenders. Snorkeling footage, catamaran rides by these two teams. And uh, Latson was riding that wave here in the third quarter. She's got eight in the third quarter alone, 20 for the game. Just five minutes in as well. Tracking her second career double-double as 20 points, eight rebounds. Win with the shot. Offensive rebound, put back, goes through for Freelon. Freelon, good inside position, was able to hold it. Soft rim, it fell right in her pocket. And there's Dos Santos in trouble and turns it over. Win with the takeaway. And her pass kicked by Dos Santos. Dos Santos is going to check out. Gordon comes in. Omaria Gordon, 5 4 senior. Well, if I'm Brooke Wyckoff, Wyckoff, I make sure I got one of those guards in there all the time. Oh, either Gordon or Latson. Takeaway there by Valenzuela. And here comes Gordon leading the charge. That's why. Just her speed creates yep. a three on two and the assist as Viegas knocks it in. Tempo changes with the ball in Gordon's hand. Carla Viegas had 17 points against Samford. Underneath working hard is Merritt. Merritt draws the bump. And it goes on Gordon. And for Gordon, that's her second personal foul. Florida State trying to ice you on the side. I think it was that time Wynn got the penetration. Merritt stepped in. <laughs> that defensive play. Timpson then clears the rebound. Different game inside when Timpson's in there because of her ability to Alter shots and block shots. And the foul goes on Fritz as Gordon gets shoved into radio row. There's a really nice play made over here too with the basketball. The Florida State Director of Ops. <laughs> Everybody's making plays out here for yeah. Florida State. Ooh. Top down. Timpson couldn't handle it. A little outside of her reach. Here's Wynn. There's the switches that Tech want to take advantage of, but they couldn't get it inside. That's a three for Fritz. And for Fritz, her first triple, just the fourth for Texas Tech in this game. And Gordon throws it away at the shoes of Bowles. Got it down to nine, Brad. Did keep the pressure on Texas Tech. Well, they're starting quarters well in the second yes. and the third. Florida State seems to be finishing the quarters well there through the go. first and the second. And yeah, that's a big two from Merritt. The ball got reversed. Defense is not as good on the second side. Merritt really took her time squaring up and take it right to the rim. Now you got it down to seven. This has been a good push by the Lady Raiders. Tania Latson on the floor. Turnage into the game with Gordon Bowles and Timpson for Florida State. Well, keep an eye on the backcourt of Gordon and Latson. That is an explosive duo. For Texas Tech, Johnson, Fritz, and 
Shavers applying the pressure. And now a five-second call. That Texas Tech defense is coming alive. I like what they did. They took the defender off the ball, denied and fronted Gordon on the inbounds catch. They're trying to keep the ball out of Gordon's hands. Shavers drives baseline, tries to kick it across the baseline, knocked out of bounds by Timpson. Seven point lead for Florida State. There's Fritz with the ball in her hands. Just knocked in a three. Out to Shavers. And Turnage saves it right to Timpson. Lady Raiders turn up the heat defensively on the ball pressure. There's Latson. She's been able to get downhill. Timpson inside. Flock by Freelon twice. Now Latson's put back is good. Latson, 20 points, 22 now, and nine rebounds. Tech had the ball stopped. They just couldn't secure the rebound. There's the mismatch they've been trying to take advantage of. And a foul inside. And that's on Gordon, and that's her third personal. Kristen Gerlach talked to us about Florida State likes to switch to using that high ball screen then trying to get it inside when the guard, especially if it's Gordon, switches on to the post. But Gordon on the bench now. Here Shavers goes baseline. Put back is good for Freelon. Back to a seven-point Florida State lead. Freelon's a really quick jumper. And Latson that time gets it over Freelon. Somehow you've got to stop Latson somewhere between the half court top of the key. And Johnson bumped hard by Bowles. And Latson gets going full speed. She's going to get all the way to the backboard. So Bowles is going to come out. Her third personal foul. Into the game comes Carla Villegas. Shavers guarded by Latson. Gets to her left hand. Ten on the shot clock. Johnson looking to attack. Into traffic. And then gets the jump ball after the turnage rebound. And possession arrow will keep it with Texas Tech. And they'll put 20 up on the shot clock. Good defensive possession, Florida State. They just didn't secure the missed shot. But they were able to do what they wanted to do defensively and keep the ball pinned on the left side. Contest the dribble drive. Quick discussion by our officials, Karen Piatto, Brandon Enterline, and Leah Laney, and now an inadvertent horn. I have a question at the scorer's table. Got 30 seconds up on the clock. Dry on Latson in this game. Zero, 0 she's got her fingerprints all over this with 24 points and nine rebounds. Tracking on her second career double-double. Had her first career double-double a few games back when she had 34 points, 10 assists. Nearly loses it. That's going to be a 10-second violation on Florida State. The Lady Raiders defense 
comes up with the turnover. We had three black jerseys diving on the floor. Now we've got four, four of our student workers out there <laughs> scrubbing the floor. Look at those guys go, man. Orange shirts, they've done a great job this entire tournament. Volunteers from the local high schools have always been a big part of the Paradise Jam here in the Virgin Islands. They take their jobs very oh, seriously. Yeah. It's highly competitive to get that position, even though it's a volunteer position. Mopping down to the corner. Clock at five. Out to the corner. Shavers for three. No, and the rebound grabbed by Turnage. Florida State will go to the fourth quarter. Up nine. Can the Lady Raiders make a push in the fourth? Or will Florida State keep rolling here in the U.S. Virgin Islands? Paradise Jam day one continues. Up nine with ten to play. Mopping back in for the Lady Raiders. She's got 11 points and four assists. Done a good job of running the offense there for Tech. Johnson saves the turnover. Now it's going to drive on Viegas, and Johnson delivers. And how about Johnson? That's her first bucket of the game. With Tech off that poor start in the first quarter, down 11. They have played even or ahead ever since then. Made some adjustments defensively and at the offensive end, and they've kept number 21 under control. Timpson with just seven points. Florida State has led this entire game. Corner look for win for a moment. Now Shavers makes a little space and knocks in the three. Shavers in a double figure. She has 10. And her second triple of the game. There's another turnover. And that slipped out of the hands of Lats and looking for Timson. Just ended up doinking off the backboard. Watch out. Double zero's got it. Hard to stop. Kick out. Gordon eyes the three. And now Shavers. Running the fast break, left hand layup for two. Nice move by Shavers. Look like she's come back with a right. Slid left. It is a two point game. Coach Gerlich calling for that defense to come up with a stop. And the ball deflected by Texas Tech, so 11 seconds up on the shot clock. Well, this is how well they're scouted. They called out the play. And for Texas Tech, Freelon told her teammates what was coming. Two more for Tania Latson, and we'll have an opportunity to add another 26 for Tania Latson right at her season average. And coach, she leads the country in scoring. And we have the second leading score in the country over in the Island Tournament. Maya McDermott of Northern Iowa. She averaged 26 and scored 29 today. So you know Tanaya was watching. She's like, I got to make sure I'm still number one in the country tomorrow. Both of them had big second halves. McDermott and Latson. That's a 12 at halftime. Now Mappin. They keep it going side to side. Here comes that ball screen. They'll try to throw it to the weak side corner. Johnson nope. goes one on one right at turnage and wins. Well, they're trying to pin it and ice it. Johnson's able to find the gap. Straight line drive. You don't take it over the top of the screen. Gordon gets it to Timpson. Timpson goes to work. Timpson still struggling. Timpson, three for 11, has seven points, six rebounds. How about the block there by Turnage? Latson's going to take it herself off the window and good. 28 points. 
for Latson. Oh, impossible to stop in the open court is Latson. Oh, shoot it. Wynn kicks it out. Shavers oh. gets the bonus point. It's a one-point <laughs> game. Had a two for Lamp, but kicked it out to Shavers for the triple. 6.46 to play. Timeout on the floor. And we'll step aside. Florida State's nine-point lead erased in the first 3.14 of this. Texas Tech trying to wreck them here to start the Paradise Jam. YMCA getting the fans up and rolling here. 6.46 to go. We were doing it over here. Yeah. Something about that song, you can't stay sitting. And there's the Red Raiders resume there. Fourth quarter line. Yep. Five of eight in the field. Knocked in those two triples. That was huge for Tech. Florida State trying to maintain their lead. Is Texas Tech still yet to have the lead in this game? And now Omari Gordon backs it out. Gordon, by the way, goes over 1,000 career points in this game. She has 18. And a travel in the lane called on Hayani Dos Santos. Turnovers by both teams. Maupin has been really solid, I thought, for Texas Tech as far as running this offense. There's Shavers. Crossover on Treadwell. Fires the three. Missed everything. Shavers with 15 points. She's made three triples. Hit Quiet one. first half. Kind of going, going here later here in the second half. They're going to need her down the stretch. Shavers, 11 points here in the second half. Darden Gordon's going to be huge. Got to keep her from penetrating. And create the kick out. Now Bowles goes to work. And Bowles lost it. From the corner, Gordon, no. Offensive put back. Yes. For Valenzuela. Fell right in Valenzuela's hands. That should almost be an assist. <laughs> Moppin feeds inside. Freelon rolls off the rim. 6.6 6 rebounds for Freelon. Freelon's Gordon now goes to work. Freelon's been really good at the defensive end for Tech. Three for Valenzuela. Halfway down and pops out. Get, keep the ball popping. Don't get stuck. Moppin penetrates. Gets bumped. It'll be a foul on the ground. And it will go on bowls. And I believe just the first team foul here in the fourth. Aggressive as Florida State is defensively, they play without fouling. Both teams with one team foul. For Florida State, just one timeout remaining. Texas Tech with three. And a travel underneath called on win. We're going the other direction. Tech can't get caught up with going one and one right in the middle of the court. Too many defenders in there. They need to get it reversed. And it's hard to do because all that pressure from Florida State trying to pin you on a side. You got to push back through that. They run a Rollman, and then the tag man comes in. The weak side corner's been open for the three. They got that in the third quarter, but they've gone away from it here in the fourth. Latson dribbles right into Wynn, who can't hold on to the ball. Now Johnson ties up Valenzuela. And a possession arrow will be Florida State's. Simpson wants to back down Freelon. Gets by her Freelon the block, but called for the foul. Bumped her in the side of the head on the shot. Freelon has been really good defensively. Active, long, has some length, quick feet. 
A pair of blocks, six points, six rebounds, an assist, three of six shooting, pretty efficient. Just around 20 minutes of game time thus far. Well, what she's done with Timpson, who's averaging 20 a game, has kept her under control. Made it a tough day at the office from Makayla Timpson. Timpson gets them both, has nine points, six rebounds. And it's Florida State back to a five-point lead after the Timpson free throws. There you go, get it reversed. Johnson dumps it off, Freelon in the lane, gets called for an offensive foul. Taking the charge is Sydney Bowles. Great play by Bowles. She saw the play coming, got there quickly, set position. As Tech has run that play throughout this game, good anticipation. Latson gets by her defender, win. Jumps right on top of the ball. Possession arrow, Lady Raiders. Lady Raiders knew the play that was coming. And Latson called it out and they turned, the Texas Tech team all shouted to one another. They knew exactly what that play was. Good help side defense. There's the Iverson cut they worked on. Now ball screen. It's a takeaway by Gordon. Gordon races to the rim, mopping, chasing. Two more for Gordon. She's got 20 points. Gordon is just lightning quick on that wing defense. And knocked out of bounds. It'll be Texas Tech basketball. 319 to play. 64 57. Florida State by seven. And you see Omaria Gordon, the senior from Florida. Opponents that await Texas Tech and Florida State over the next couple of days. Florida State and Missouri State tomorrow. Texas Tech will have Gonzaga tomorrow. This is a classic format where the games are already matched. It's not a tournament format where you advance when you win. Oh, nice play by Moffitt. Picked up the loose ball. Looked like Freelon knocked that loose. Five point game, now Latson in trouble. And Latson tries to get a timeout before Johnson gets the tie up. Good play by Latson. First of all, not a good play to dribble into this corner and get trapped, but got the timeout. Broke Manesh. Punch their ticket into the Sweet 16, and now we got a rematch on the women's side of the Panthers of Northern Iowa versus the Jayhawks of Kansas. We also have a rematch coming up, the Missouri State-Florida State game. Florida State fans may remember Missouri State getting the win over Florida State in the NCAA tournament in 2022. That'd be more recent memory. There's some young ones out there, Coach, that have no idea what you're talking about from 2010. <laughs> 2.35 to play. Tech needs a basket. Oh, Latson. She has been better on the defensive end. Coach yeah. Wyckoff says she's really challenged her. She said she's a great scorer, great on offense. Asking her to do more on the defensive end. Well, she has the strength to do it. Coach called her one of the most athletic players that she has coached. Both these guards, they are a handful. Gordon and Latson to deal with. Latson gets downhill so easy and oh. it rolls in. Latson with a 30 point game. Well, Timpson's had a tough night at the office, but the two guards have picked it up for the Seminoles. Oh, Shavers knocks in a three. She needed that. Missed a couple badly earlier this quarter. Latson to Timpson. Timpson with the shove. 
Shavers takes the charge. Well, there wasn't much of a push there. Shavers goes down. Little spark from Shavers. Got the three ball. Got back on defense. Four point game. Johnson kicks it to win. Jay to win. There's that back cut. Moppin can't handle the pass. Timson, Timson great, with the takeaway. Yeah, great defensive yeah. play. Long arms. It's got enough of it. Bounce pass. It's going to be a layup. Timpson disrupted it. Gordon down to the corner. Now back. Stepping into a three. A deep one from Bowles. It's Freelon the rebound. Hit the push. There it is. Johnson to Freelon. Freelon has it knocked away. Hands everywhere for Florida State's defense. And Latson fouled by Maupin. Her third. And just the fourth team foul. So Maupin fouling Latson before the shot. Good foul. Good decision to foul there. She's going to get fouled on the shot or convert it. Saves two points. But you're going to run out of time. You get a new shot clock. Uh, looks like Tech's going to play this out. Not going to foul. Shot clock at 10. Latson down to the corner. Three-point attempt for Bowles. Too strong. Valenzuela, the rebound. Throw it out. And throws it away. Take away. Freelon comes up with it. What are your point? They're out of timeouts, Brad. There's Shavers. Spins. Blocked away by Timpson. Timpson's been really good defensively. Those last possessions. But you talked earlier, they're going to be out of timeouts. Florida State. Well, they couldn't call it on that offensive rebound by Valenzuela, so they got a bad shot up. But Timpson bails him out the other end with the blocked shot. Free throw good for Bulls. Timpson, 209 blocks coming into this game. That's her third of the game. Well, nine points, seven rebounds for Timpson, but she's been active at the defensive end. Now 9.8, going to advance the basketball. Got to get one up quick. Put the press on. Down six. You've got to run a play here for a three ball. I think well, Fritz is coming in for Texas Tech. It's your shooters. I think a, a two at this point is not going to help you. Michaela Timpson came into this game, coach tied with her coach, Brooke Wyckoff, 209 career blocks. Adds a few all alone now at number two. Just sent to Monroe from 07 to 2010, 301 blocks in her career. I'm sure Brooke Wyckoff feels good about getting passed up by her player. Both these coaches have come back to coach at their alma mater. That's a special thing, especially they had such success as players. There's our crew out there mopping again. <laughs> the student volunteers have done an excellent job today. Let's see what Krista Gerlich yeah. draws right. up. They switched all screens. Take away the three. Mopping. Another block for Timpson. And the clock's going to run out on the Lady Raiders. 1.4 will stop it for a couple more free throws. But 68 62. Florida State will hold on for the win. As Texas Tech's going to be handed their first loss of the season. And Florida State 
their only blemish on the record, that road trip to Illinois, the second game of the season. Learning experience for Florida State. That loss in Illinois. I've been impressed by Texas Tech's defense. They're holding this team's averaging 100 points a game. To possibly 70 if this free throw goes in. 30 below their average. Well, it would still be their lowest point total of the season. As Coach Gerlich calls a timeout. Oh, people are asking, why are you going to call timeout down eight? 1.4 left. She is running a play to make them better for the next game. With some execution, you, now can, you can knock set, a three in. You can set this up in practice, but it's a little bit different when you do it in a game situation. And you're playing against Florida State versus you're playing against your own team. Well, I just watched Florida State huddle. Brooke Wyckoff, they're going to switch everything on the perimeter, get their hands high. You know, both of them putting practice to work here late in the game situation. It's been a pretty fun opening day of the 25th edition of the U.S. Virgin Islands Paradise Jam. Our final game of the day. We'll come back, have Four more tomorrow. All those games right here on ESPN Plus and Saturday's lineup. Also here on the ESPN family of networks. Incredible day of basketball. These eight teams are all evenly matched. The lob for Freeline left short. Florida State with the win. 70-62.